morning. So today I am off to finally get something done to my hair. It's been quite a while since I've had any colour in my hair. Probably nearly a year. No, over a year. It may be 18 months since I've had anything done to my hair. Today I am off to see Phil Hunt. Oh, I just totally got done by the sprinkler. <laughs> Probably, oh shit, it's coming again. Oh god. <laughs> But hey, I've got a beautiful view, so there's worse places you could get wet, right? Lovely little place to be over. She's making me feel quite unfit. Anyway, so yes, I am off to get my hair done today, and I'm very excited. I'm going to have some blondes put in it, lighten it up for summer, because I'm going on holiday next week. So I'm going to film the whole process. The idea today is that we do not make a full-on blonde, but we do a gradual blonde. So we're taking Amy's naturally mousy brown hair, which... AKA dirty blonde. Dirty blonde. <laughs> and we're lifting the blonde further up. So she's already got lots of luscious blonde hair, but we're trying to make it a bit blonder. So by doing this backcombing effect, which is rather sexy, what we're doing is we're stopping every single hair strand on this one section from becoming blonde. So we're bringing it down at different levels in order to get a more diffused, balanced look. And you're probably thinking right now, what is she doing to her <laughs> hair? It's the most natural way of getting a nice, soft, even blonde effect. You've got your balayages, you've got everything else, but this is probably the kindest way of getting a nice balanced look through the hair. Once this is done, we will apply a really low activating bleach. So all I'm doing at the front here is I'm just leaving out these very fine hairs just at the very front, because that's where we will do a bit of freehand balayage. Or a sweet colour. Yeah. Did you know that balayage means sweet in French? Yeah, we really much too. <laughs> <laughs> so now all my hair is back home. Now ready for Summer I was watching a show on TV called Hair and it, it fascinated me because they were doing all these really crazy kind of really wacky stuff that I really wanted to kind of do myself. I went and enrolled in a college and I had the like best lecturer who was like really encouraging and uh, the college got an email saying we're looking for um, applicants for the second series of this show Hair. I went for the, uh, the audition. I went did like a, you had to do like a, a sort of a, a thing, like a show thing of what you would do etc in your tongue. That's do interviews and all this stuff and it took forever. I call about two weeks later saying we would like to do the show. So it's like out of, I don't know, three, four thousand people oh, auditioned. Amazing. What did, what did you do for your preview of what you were doing? Kind of, I did like a forest queen and made like a crown out of hair. Oh wow. I did like loads of greens and wacky colours in it and uh, had to be filmed whilst doing it. So like the camera had to be like, so what are you doing now, Phil? Like, well, right now I've decided to add this crown onto this girl's head and I really want to do it like this, so I'm doing it with this. And, because they want to kind of see that you're kind of camera worthy, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that you kind of get the fact that there's a camera there and you're not nervous about it. Like now? Like <laughs> right now, yeah. <laughs> got down to the final ten, went on to did the show and we 
we recorded it in like two months. So I was like, I was working here as a junior, I was at college learning to be a hairdresser, and I was um, doing film in the show as well. It was like the wackiest, stressfuliest two months of my life. And then, yeah, won it. And you won Best Hairdresser of the Year 2015. Hashtag Humble. <laughs> So how are we getting on now? I've still got loads of hair to go, have I? I've got this much left. Don't have done this. Let's go back over each section. Just double check that we've covered every single bit of hair. So we've rinsed it all out. Yeah. And brushed it. We've rinsed it, toned it. And now we're just trying to brush through all that mess that we oh. made. Agony, I should have taken painkillers.